Jessica is with us in Fargo. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Hi, Dave. Doing good. Thank you. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Well, I have a little bit of an issue with student loans. Namely, I'm up to my neck and stupid. Um, I took out way too much when I first started going to school. Didn't really realize what I was getting into. And most of them are private student loans. So my private student loans minimum payment is $525 a month. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is about, well, uh, maybe almost a quarter, actually a little over a quarter of what I make in a month. What do you make a year? 28. Okay. What do you do for a living? I work in sales. And what is the degree in? Uh, well, it was an intended to go towards law school, but ended up being philosophy, sociology, and art. And the intention is to go back to grad school once I have this paid down. Yeah, and what's the balance on these student loans? Uh, for that one, it's 40. Is that the whole, that one? How many oh, student no. loans do you have? <laughs> I also have uh, my public student loans as well, and that's another 30. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So 70000 on a $28,000 income. So what's your upside on sales? Are you going to be making more? Um, yes. It looks like this is the, – the job has a base pay that's actually pretty decent. The problem is I'm only getting 30 hours a week, so I picked up a second job, and I am throwing pretty much – the entirety of that at my loan. Good. Okay. Um, but All it's right. still just not quite not quite getting there, and I'm not really sure what to do. Well, it's an income to outgo ratio. I mean, it's not it's mm-hmm. not really a uh, it's a hard formula, but it's not tough to understand. I mean, you're not making a ton, and you owe a ton. So the size of your right. shovel versus the size of hole you're in is the problem. And you're, you so you did the right thing to go get the extra job, and then hopefully your sales job can continue to go up, and maybe we can see the income go up. And no, there's not a, there's not a graduate school in your future for a while. Right. Not till you get this mess cleaned up, and then save up the money to pay for it, and then study something that you can actually use when you come out get a degree in something that's actually applicable in the marketplace um, if you're going to do grad school. Don't just go to grad school because it's cool, because it's not that cool, really. So, um, Especially with the mess you got on your hands. So, uh, good luck with it. It's all about getting your income up and continuing to attack. There's not a magic formula. I wish I had a better answer for you, but that's the real answer. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey guys, Rachel Cruz here. Hope you enjoyed that video from the Dave Ramsey Show. If you want to watch another great video, check out my video, Three Things You Should Consider Renting, right over here, or click the link in the description below.